Charlie. it begins. What's up, dude? <laughs> What's up? Dude, guess what just happened? Uh, you chatted with the pilots, probably. No, yeah, come over here. Come over here. So, oh dear. Oh dear, they've seen the video. Oh dear. So, basically, get off the plane. Everything's going great. I'm like, something's weird. Get to the border. The guy looks at me, right? He goes, your first time in Switzerland. I'm like, <laughs> no, no. And he goes, hmm, you have problem with police? I'm like, no. What? And that's, oh, I'm being genuine. I've never had touch with a problem with police there. They're all so nice. Oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, we've made it. Round two, baby. Let's get it. Ergenschlagen. Yeah. What is this? We I think we can change. This can make it. <laughs> All right, so got my sleeping bag, got my alpine boots that were supposed to be for Chernobyl. Go get out some stuff. It's right now. I'm going to go open this thing. Look right here. It needs to go. Where'd I put my damn phone charger, Billy? I don't know, Bobby. Billy, you always do this to me. Now, <laughs> tell you once again, where's my damn phone charger? I need to put this right on you. Uh, uh -huh. And then well, Dylan can sit right where the spare tire goes, all right now? And put him right oh, where Billy. the spare tire goes. We're gonna go ahead and open this one up right here. I'm gonna tell mommy if you, if you keep doing this I'm shit. Don't do mommy. You don't tell mommy nothing. I already told you. Now, you gotta check the, the toy of pressure. You know? Toy of pressure. It's missing a dust cap that's coming out of the money. But you know. Yeah, don't give me that shit. I'm the mechanic. Is, I'll tell you course, what's, what, of course, what's, the the what's wrong car. with the vehicle. What's wrong with the car? You, you don't fucking ask. I'll tell you. Yeah, but you look, as you can see, like the, the tire pressure, man. But like, I'm telling you, man, look at this. It's coming out of the money that I owe them, man. Like, it just, it's unacceptable. They don't have a dust cap. No, no, that's, no. That's disgusting. Quit being Absolutely. how smart it is. I'm the Absolutely. Like... Look at this. A piece. Look at that. A smudge. How dare they? That's it. I'm getting in this car right now. Okay, so. Which one opens the door? Or are you going to come in and what? I have an A. What the hell is she doing? Dopply, blubbly, crubbity cluck. And those people over there don't <laughs> speak English. Otherwise, they would have told us to shut up already. <laughs> Oh, there's a fucking wall right there. What's up? Yes. I never think. Everything I don't ever think. What's up? Oh, hello, man. Yeah, hello, yeah, hello, hello, man. 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 That's what I want to know. Basically, yeah, oh, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dylan's trying to call me. Dylan's giving me the call. Where's he to? Where's he to? You're all lovely, lovely. Dylan fucking Rhodes. Dylan Rhodes. All right, then, lovely. Dylan Rhodes on the roads. Are oh, you right, mate? You're right, mate. Hello. Hello. Yo, what's up, dude? Are you good? Yeah, man. Uh, we got the car. We're all together now. Basically. We might be a little late because on the way there's this thing um, and we're going to see if it's doable. So we're going to stop there briefly and see if it's doable. Where you at, man? I will... Trying to find some of the helmet. All right, sound. I will update you when we're close, all right? All right, see you a bit. See you. All right, so basically just parked the car up at some random place halfway between here and the Alps. It's on the side of a mountain. You can kind of hear the waterfall in the background. Anyway, the guys already have a hammock set up. It's kind of like at an angle, semi-flat ground, a little bit of a hike, and hopefully it's doable in the morning. We want to check out this power plant that's abandoned. It has a chimney that's possible to climb, as well as some other interesting things like cooling towers. So it should be an interesting day tomorrow. And then we should also meet up with Dylan. Kind of a cozy little place, but it is at an angle. So it's like, who knows? Um, I'm gonna try to get some sleep. In the morning, we're gonna try to hit up this factory. Yeah, so talk to you in the morning. Good morning. So, pretty cold night actually. Um, I was kind of tossing and turning every now and again until I kind of figured out that I need to get fully under the sleeping bag. I'm thinking about maybe getting some cardboard or something to put as an insulator between my back and my hammock so it's not as cold. This is what we were hearing last night. It's pretty cool. Oh, 
amount of water is cold on your feet. That's deep. That's very deep. Uh, well, the reservoir thing or whatever, yeah. <laughs> what? What the flex here? Is it? Mama. That is awesome, man. Look at that view. <laughs> Don't put your head in front of these things like I'm not even kidding you. Ryan good? Ryan. You good man? Oh yeah, son. Fuck my phone doesn't take the wrong. That's painful just watching that. Imagine he flies by here and he's like, what the heck? <laughs> wow. Don't call the cops. Oh, he, he acknowledges us. No. Oh, he won't hear you, dude. <laughs> he rocked his wings. Dude, he rocked his wings. That's the aviation universal symbol for acknowledgement. Climb, dude. Seriously, good job. Sick climb. Yeah. It's snap. currently reversing down a mountain after we discovered this is not meant for vehicles. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We want to go Horner and grab our shit. Yeah. And then uh, Bruno's meeting us at the cable car. Yes, dude. Yeah. It's an hour hike from the train. Oh, it's an hour hike? Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Ryan? First made. official night in Interlochen, what do you think? <laughs> Look at it, do I, does it need any explanation? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> like, I mean, just look at that. Like, wow. I know, it's gorgeous. Like, they have center, and then over there, you can't see it, but there's a Jungfrau. Yeah. And you got the lake and the... <laughs> How did you find this? Paris was... I found it. You found it? <laughs> you literally? Who, who found it first? I said keep left, but you said we should go here. So it was a collective fine. I'd say, well, I would, I would have definitely got <laughs> along here if it wasn't the carrots. Make some food, we're gonna set up our hammocks so we can wake up and watch Dylan jump off of something very, very high. Well, I, had, I'm, I only had like at least four full hours of sleep last night. Oh, yeah, Ryan, basically, so. Ryan yeah, lost his sleeping bag when he got on the <laughs> when he got on the plane. So <laughs> he had a very cold, wonderful seven and a half degrees Celsius last night. That was absolutely great. Oh, and we also got we got some cardboard as well. So this is gonna keep like a a seal, like like an air pocket between the hammock and the sleeping bag to help stop us getting cold on our back. So poor little Ryan here can actually have a good night's sleep and realize where he is in the world. Ryan, do you know where you are right now? No, not really. Do you know where you are? Oh yeah, 65 latitude, 38 longitude. See, he knows it. <laughs> I mean, you still are wearing the pants from Chernobyl. We're all in our hammocks now. One found this like really weird thing that people bring their children to have picnics with. A gazebo. Something like that. I got <laughs> Ryan over there. I got fucking like. Like I'm, he's like ready to collapse and like crush my feet, basically, like literally. <laughs> he's like on a trajectory to crush my feet. And then I got the other two just chilling in their hammocks. <laughs> basically, if the top bunk goes, the bottom bunk's gone as well. How can you tell? It was really bubbly. Beautiful. <laughs> How did you figure out? Like, you didn't really. Uh, you didn't really... No, 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 no. I think I did that. Me? I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm fucking getting out this morning. I'm walking the rest of So, last year, Dylan jumped off of this rope bridge about like a quarter of the way up one of the parts of the Alps. This year he wants to do it again, but this time he has a special rig to where he's going to be able to free fall it, where he doesn't have to initially tie his rig, <laughs> he doesn't have to initially tie his rig uh, to the structure to get the shoot out immediately. So he's going to free fall it for a little bit and then he'll throw his shoot. So this should be interesting to see. This cable car. Whoa, what have you guys been up to? Oh, I don't know. I was talking about pasta. Pasta? Yeah, I'd really like some pasta right what now. Pasta? Some rigatoni pasta. with some tomato sauce. Mm. And then I'm going to put meatballs in there just to piss off Italian people. It's going to be great. Packed my rig backwards. 
So it means that when I open, I'll open upside down and then I'll fall into my parachute and then... <laughs> Fuck off. Of, <laughs> of course, of course. Of course, yeah, I mean, you know. Oh yeah, Shy was on top of this thing last year and he got yelled at. That's yeah! You want in nature, take your phone off! Go the fuck out! He's clapping! Yeah, hello! What are we doing here? <laughs> hello! I am getting filmed, I do not approve. Yes, last very good. Time. So last year, this is the spot where I fell on my butt. I'm determined, I'm determined to not fall on my butt this time, Ryan. I believe in you. I'm serious, I, I don't believe in myself, so... <laughs> Ooh. I didn't fall though! <laughs> Easy. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, oh. Matt, am I not? Am I recording or not? No, you're off. Nice. Wow. And there we are. <laughs> oh, it shakes as well when you get on it. It's a lot of fun. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> boys, I'm gonna switch to the headset. Like you guys are smart. You got your little doohickey things right yeah. here. Excuse so me. I'm gonna switch to my head mount. So I'm not gonna like slip on the poop stains that you guys had, right? I just wanna make sure. Let's do it, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, why do I do these hobbies? Oh, my. oh yeah. <laughs> das is brilliant, yes? Now, a lot of people ask me, how do I keep calm when I'm doing this? So, the answer I like to give to that is that what I'm doing is all in a controlled situation. Now, could I potentially fall a thousand meters here? Yes, but I always keep this in my mind to know that. If you're comfortable walking straight forward when you're on the ground, then in theory, why couldn't you do this a thousand meters up? It's the fear of falling. It's not the fear of heights people have. So to understand what you do or how to, come over, or how to overcome something like this is to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation. And then when you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation and you prove to yourself you can do it one step at a time, you will eventually get to the end. So I'm looking at where I'm stepping. I'm not looking at the ground. That's where people go wrong. They say, well, obviously don't look down. Always look up. That's not always the case. Just look initially what you're grabbing or where you're, you're walking. That is a big step in overcoming fear of heights or any form of fear for that matter. So just understand that even though you're in an environment not necessarily meant for what you're intending to do. Understand that each action you do dictates the next outcome. Don't over, don't become overconfident. Like in this case, don't speed up. Don't do something that can cause the rope bridge to swing. As an example, just take one step at a time, just like that, one foot in front of the other. And then eventually you'll get to the end and then you can look back on your achievement. You're next, bro! You got it. You got it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, dude. Sick, man. Good climb. I, the first part is sketchy, but then you get faster than it's sit easy. Oh. That was worth 12 franc. Coming up here. It's a fly on the lens. That's Ryan. Oh wait, Ryan. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Fucking connected. <laughs> so, so they safety wired this <laughs> to this with a zip tie. <laughs> That's oh, ridiculous. Oh man. Max Les, Matt, Odyssey. Yes. Fucking <laughs> Marius. Dylan. Dylan's getting ready to jump. Yeah. Okay. And Go launch up. winner. Very nice. Get it nice and low, nice and low. Remember, I'll spot you, man, all right? <laughs> See you on the ground. Tell me you to go for when to go for <laughs> I will, and I'm watching it, so don't be afraid. Forward. Forward, forward, forward. Forward, forward. Check the drone! Check I'm watching it, yeah, you're good, you got yeah, plenty of room, mate. I'm following it, it's nice. Yeah, you're fine, you're over the ridge, you got plenty of room, now descend, 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 descend hard, descend hard. Wait, I'm on the cables. No, you're, you're fine, you're not gonna hit those, you're nowhere near them. 
to set comparator. Nah, you're fine, mate. You're fine. You know we're near it. Wow. You know we're near it. <laughs> Follow him around. Follow him around, you dude. There you go, he's coming back down, so you can just follow that. Yeah, you have no obstructions now. No obstructions. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. Yeah, you're fine. I think I'm gonna just fucking abort. That's right fine, now. that's yeah, perfect. Yeah. Just that's, that's enough. Just watch it, just watch it. You don't need to do anything. Yeah, yeah. Yo. Sick. So that is the next goal, further up the mountain. Enjoy the climb, guys, are we? Yeah. <laughs> Although she's social distancing, she's got her mask on, guys. It's fine. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. This looked a lot easier from the ground up. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's a good point. I'm a cat. <laughs> I think the tiger. Yes, Ryan. <laughs> I would love to go sledding down there. No. Like, look at that house. Compared to where we're at, it's just a very steep angle. Good angle. Wow. Where's everybody else? Oh, they're down there? They're still on the ground, mate. Oh. Ooh. So last year, Shy did that one. This year, we decided to get a little higher. How is it, man? This view is immaculate. Like, look at that. Yes. Yo, dude. Sick. Coming down the cable car tower in the mountains. <laughs> Need that. <laughs> Whoa, that is one way to do it. Okay, so I bet none of you would have ever seen this in your country, the honesty shop. So basically this is an unattended store where people can take an item and the people who own this are relying on their honesty to put the money in an envelope and mail it to them. I even don't want to be there. No, I mean, I'm gonna come in and have a look. This is... Oh, they have drinks. Oh, they have gummy bears. Oh my. This is awesome. <laughs> I think I just want to buy something out of respect for this. You know what I mean? Like that's so sound that you can do that. Like with all this chaos in this world, you can, look at this. We deliver to America, Europe, and UK. Honesty is freedom. It is. Honesty is freedom, yeah, totally. Homemade products. Oh wow, guys, this message is from uh, customers. Thank you so much, it made me cry. Thank you for creating such a positive and amazing place. The store inspired me so much, it made me cry. Thank you for creating such a positive and amazing place. There's something Next. we can write, I want to write From Arizona, you. USA. Hey, Arizona! Hey. Boy, I lived there for India. a year. India. I, I was really dishonest for a really long time. Now I can finally buy this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, that's beautiful. They have Swiss But they actually do this. Wow. 
cold drinks. Five franc for a sticker though. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can say that this store is just quackers. <laughs> no one. <laughs> That's that's awesome, man. I don't. Th I've never seen anything like this in my life. Like, how long? How long? How long? There's one in London as well next to Tower Bridge. What? Yeah. This oh, that that, that must have shut down as soon as it opened. <laughs> yeah. If that was the case. Let me take the Swiss one. The Swiss one shut up in London. Bought a well, we bought an old red London bus and set up near Tower Bridge. And yes, it worked. People were very honest, and we kept it open for six months. Yeah, and then like people and then, robbed and then, it, and then, yeah, and then all the youths yeah. came and just like destroyed yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, with all this chaos in this world, at least you got something nice like this. They're playing Fallout New Vegas music too. Sick. Yo! Oh, no. Sick jump, boy. Talking sick oh, yeah. two jumps. I'm thinking we get some food, guys. What do you think? Obviously. That was sick. Fucking sick as fuck. Oh.